Hello, my friend. It is that time of the year again. It is Ulta 21 Days Beauty Time. And this is one of the videos I get the most requests for is to tell you my recommendations for the sale, things that I think you should buy, things that I think you shouldn't buy, changing up the format a little bit this time, but I think you're really gonna love it. So hang in there. We're getting into it right now. So what I did is I went through my little Ulta mailer and I flipped through and I kind of looked at each day and instead of going through every single product on every single day like I've done in the past, I just picked the thing that I think stands out as the most exciting product on that day and hopefully that'll be helpful to you in shopping the sale. Of course, we're already a couple of days into the sale, so let's go ahead and start with today, which is Wednesday the 1st, and we're gonna start with Dermalogical Retinol Acne Clearing Oil, $80 marked down to 40. Now, I do not have acne prone skin. I've never tried this product, but I looked at the ingredient list and it looks super legit. I am not an esthetician or a dermatologist or a skincare formulator. I am just an enthusiast, but I've been researching skincare ingredients for many years at this point, and I feel like I've got a pretty Pretty good handle on the ingredients that my audience seems to love and the ones that have more research behind them. So this one, the reason why I would recommend this one is mostly for the rosehip oil, the jojoba seed oil, the salicylic acid, and the retinol propanate. The rosehip oil, now that is going to be good for acne prone skin because it can help reduce the appearance of your acne, it can help with acne scarring, and it's also an antioxidant. Along with that we have the jojoba seed oil, which is a really nice skin balance balancing ingredient. Salicylic acid is the friend of a lot of people with oily and acne prone skin. What it does is it's a BHA chemical exfoliator. It kind of is like a vacuum for your pores. It just kind of clears all of the junk out of your pores. Things that are helping your pores to maybe appear larger, things that are clogging your pores. It really helps vacuum those pores out. So salicylic acid is fantastic for acne prone skin, oily skin. And then there's a retinal propanate, which helps with hyperpigmentation that comes along with acne scarring. So this one looks super legit. Uh, based on just the ingredient list, it looks like the best product for today. The most interesting product that I found that's on sale tomorrow is a product that I've tried, used many, many times. It's the Skin Iceland Hydro Cool Firming Eye Gels. The original ones are the ones that I've tried. They do have various sizes of packs available. Lots of good things in here. A water glycerin base, which is a humectant. It's going to pull water into your skin. Olive oil, which got a really bad rep during the J-Lo launch, but really when it's mixed in with a bunch of other things, it, there really isn't any evidence that it's gonna damage the skin's barrier. The research that was done on olive oil that says that it could damage your skin's barrier was when people use straight olive oil on their arm in a research study over and over for many, many days. So in this formula, because it is mixed with other things, chances are you're not going to have the same effect as that study that pretty much demonized olive oil all over the internet. Specifically for the under eyes, ginkgo biloba extract is great for inflammation. It's also skin soothing. And then we have jojoba seed oil, again, nice and skin balancing for under the eye area. We also have coenzyme Q10. You've probably heard of that. It's a great anti-aging ingredient. It's an antioxidant and also skin soothing. And if you're part of skincare YouTube, you've probably heard of ceramides. There's also ceramides in this product. Ceramides really helps with dry skin to help the skin not look as dry. Using these, they just feel really good. I personally would rather use an eye cream for like long-term effects, but if you like that pampering feel of using an eye gel patch, highly recommend these. There's also another eye gel patch that's on sale from them. Uh, it's called the Dissolving Microneedle Eye Patches with Hyaluronic Acid and Peptides. It looks like these would be nice to do before a night out because that it does have a lot of hydrating ingredients in there that might help temporarily plump the under eye area, fine lines and wrinkles around the eyes. Uh, but personally, the original formula looks better to me. Moving on to Friday the 3rd, I couldn't really find anything that really stood out to me. So we're going to skip that day. We're going to move on to Saturday the 4th, another product that I've tried, which is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. Honestly, it's probably not that much better than any drugstore eyebrow pencil 
that you really love, but at that sale price, it really is a nice brow pencil. They have a lot of shades. It's very fine pointed, so if you really like drawing those individual hairs on, works great for that. It's just a good brow pencil. Let's move on to next week. So the first thing I saw right away where I thought I wanted to recommend it to you was the Beauty Blender. But then the more I thought about it, I was like, yeah, it's bubblegum pink. Yeah, it's kind of cute, but you could probably get a beauty sponge that's just as good as the original Beauty Blender for even cheaper than the sale price of the Beauty Blender. So I decided to recommend something else that looked really good. And it is the first IT Cosmetics skincare product that I have ever recommended on this channel. I think they've made some significant improvements to the way that their formulas look. Usually there are a ton of ingredients, like over a hundred ingredients in their skincare products, which I'm personally, I don't like because I feel like it opens us up to being exposed to all of these ingredients. And there's more chance of having some kind of reaction when you have all of those ingredients and you can't really narrow it down to what it might be. So this one is totally different than any IT Cosmetics skincare product I've ever seen. It's called the Hello Results Wrinkle Reducing Daily Retin all serum in a cream. It's $69. It's marked down to $34.50. It does have that water glycerin humectant base in the top to hydrate your skin. Then there's niacinamide in there, which people either love or really don't love. Niacinamide, some people are sensitive. It can cause a flushing of the skin, but if that's not you, niacinamide has a ton of skin benefits. Like so many different skin types could benefit from niacinamide as long as you are not sensitive. If, for example, it can help with fine lines and wrinkles. It can help with acne. It can help with acne scarring. It can help with trans epidermal water loss and your skin's barrier, trying to help your skin stay nice and balanced and hydrated and moisturized. It's just a really fantastic ingredient. Then of course, one of the most researched ingredients in all of skincare, there is retinol in here. Again, some people, it just doesn't agree with their skin. I personally love retinol in my skincare. The only thing about retinol is it really does take a while for retinol to start really working and showing results in your skin. So if you are going to purchase this, expecting the retinol to do something, you may want to continue using a retinol product, either this one or another one, to kind of keep it going to make sure you're getting those benefits. I've heard it can take six months to a year or longer before that retinol really starts showing anti-aging effects. Beyond that, there's sodium hyaluronate, which is another humectant to pull water into your skin. Again, that ceramide, which is gonna really help with dry skin. And then this one I've never seen before when I looked it up, I was like, yes, it's called hydroxy palmitol sphingonine. It just sounds inappropriate in my opinion, but it's a type of ceramide and it helps maintain a healthy skin barrier and helps the skin produce more ceramides. They did that in an in vitro study, which I thought was super cool. So it really does look like a fantastic product. I was very surprised and yeah, that one looks great. On Monday the 6th, the product that I have tried, the Benefit Hula Matte Bronzer, it's $30 marked down to 15. It does come in four shades. I know that those four shades aren't going to work for everybody, but it does seem like they have tried to hit a lot of shades. Uh, I will put my shade up on the screen for you right now. Uh, that's the one that works well for me. It's a great bronzer. I've even used this for a little bit of contouring. It's not super, super warm, uh, and it's just a fantastic bronzer. Nice lasting power, very easy to use. You do want to go in with a bit of a light hand because it is very pigmented, uh, but it does blend out very nicely. So yeah, definitely recommend that. Tuesday the 7th, I had some trouble again. <laughs> I think I'm gonna pass on this day as well. I did see the Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighters are on here. I haven't tried those personally. I have heard good things, but because I haven't tried those, I don't feel comfortable like jumping headfirst into recommending those, even though I have heard good things, just to note. The Bare Minerals concealers, especially the powder one, I really like a lot, but the shade range is absolutely pathetic. So I can't really recommend those either. And then I was looking at the Sunday Riley title product. And I mean, it looks fine. It looks like a fine product, but it's really expensive. Even at half price, it's very expensive. So I didn't feel comfortable recommending that one either, unfortunately. <laughs> Wednesday the 8th, I'm gonna skip that one too. <laughs> 
it's really like there's really nothing good nothing that made me go yes i need to recommend this like there's a mario badescu drying lotion which i know a lot of people love i've heard that it's great as a spot treatment but i've also heard people have serious reactions to it and that it's very very strong and you should never put this all over your face it's just a very intense product if you do have acne prone skin maybe on a q-tip just on the spot uh, use very sparingly but i couldn't really find anything to recommend on this day either. Thursday the 9th though, no doubt, no doubt what I was gonna recommend for the 9th. This is the MAC Paint Pot Eyeshadow, but honestly, only the matte shades. The, I had such a terrible time with the shimmer shades that I've tried. They were just really oily on my eyes. And is that normal? Is Have you had that experience where they felt really oily, like the, the shimmery ones? But the matte ones I have loved. I've used Painterly for many, many, many years uh, as an eyeshadow base. And they're just really good bases for use with other eyeshadow, or you can use them as standalone shadows if you get shades that you would wear like that. Uh, yeah, they're really great and for $11.50, definitely recommend. Friday the 10th, another great one, the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, $23 marked down to $11.50. It's just a great high-end mascara. Lots of length, lots of volume, not a lot of clumping. Uh, you really do need to wiggle just to make sure, but it's not super heavy. It's just a really nice, good, solid mascara. And I was very skeptical at first. I didn't think I was gonna like it. Just, I was being judgy, okay? I'm gonna be honest, I was being judgy, but, I really do like that mascara a lot. And then finally on Saturday the 11th, It Brushes for Ulta are on sale. I've enjoyed every single It Brush for Ulta that I have ever used. They're just great brushes. So the key to this, when you're looking at what sets you may wanna buy, is just finding shapes that either you don't own or you want to try or you know something you may want a duplicate of if it's a brush you use a lot. I mean, I really feel like you can't really go wrong with It Brushes for Ulta. They seem just fantastic, every brush I've ever used. If you've had a different experience though, leave it in the comments so we can and I'll learn from you. And then finally, let's move on to the last week, which is starting with Sunday the 12th. Last year, I bought some stuff from Paracone MD. It is very, very pricey, but I did not regret my purchase. And this product actually looks really nice. This is the Essential FX Acetyl Glutathione Eyelid Lift Serum. Definitely looks the most promising on this day. Again, very pricey, but I do think, especially if you have dry, aging skin, this one is going to be most beneficial for you. It does have that water glycerin base to bring that water into your skin. There's also a very stable form of vitamin C called tetrahexadecal ascorbate. And I think that's the first time I've ever said it correctly on the first try. Yay! <sighs> It's a great antioxidant, and it's one of those ingredients that I personally always look for in my vitamin C products. I find that it works much better than ascorbic acid for my personal skin. I really like that ingredient a lot. The next one I wanted to point out is the S. Palmitol Glutathione. It's an antioxidant and it's a skin brightening ingredient, and it does help with skin firmness. So again, aging skin, dry skin, this is gonna be great. Then the Palmitol Tripeptide 38, that might help reduce fine lines and wrinkles. There is some research to suggest that. And then finally, acetyl tyrosine, which is a brightening and skin conditioning ingredient. I have not tried this one personally, but based on the ingredients alone, it does look very promising. Now, Monday the 13th, I had the opposite problem <laughs> that I was having with other days. I really couldn't pick between three different products. I haven't tried any of them, so I figured I would just mention them all, especially since they all seem to be for different skin types. So first, starting with the Cover Effects Mattifying Primer plus Acne, acne Treatment, the ingredients really do suggest that it's going to be not only a great primer for oily, acne-prone skin, because it does have silicones in there to fill the pores. It also has salicylic acid in there, which we talked about earlier, can help clear out the pores and make your pores a little less noticeable because it clears out all the gunk and allows them to return to their natural shape. Next is the Corez Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. It really does 
does look like a nice gentle cleanser. There's lots of nice humectants in there, some good antibacterial ingredients. So if you're looking for just a nice gentle cleanser that would be probably good for a lot of skin types, that one looks pretty good on the surface. And then finally, the Bosha Peptide Youth Restoring Firming Body Serum. I'm getting more into trying to put more on my body. I have a bunch of sun damage on my chest that I really wanna take care of. So I'm looking into more product like this. So this might be one that I might purchase. Uh, it's got niacinamide, some really good anti-aging ingredients and humectant ingredients in there. So this will be good specifically for people like me that are looking to try to help repair a little bit of sun damage, some anti-aging stuff like that uh, for the body. Tuesday, another cleanser. This is just a classic, really good cleanser that a lot of people seem to really love. It's by First Day Beauty and it's just their face cleanser. I've enjoyed this when I've used it. Uh, it doesn't remove makeup, but it does really gently cleanse the face and it just makes my skin feel good. It doesn't feel make my skin feel stripped in any way. It's just a good solid cleanser. It's $22 marked down to 11. I think that's definitely worth $11. Wednesday the 15th, I'm starting to get very attached to Beekman 1802. Everything I've ever gotten from them, I've really loved. So when I saw that they have an eye serum that's available, I looked in the ingredients, I was kind of crossing my fingers and it looks pretty legit. $42 full price, so it's gonna be $21. It's definitely going to be best for people with dry under eyes once again. So it does have that water glycerin base to pull water into your skin. And then there's lots of goat milk ingredients. They do raise all of their own goats and they are checked out by the Humane Society and all kinds of animal rights people to make sure that they have ev all their goats in a row. I don't know, that was a really bad joke, but... <laughs> <laughs> but goat milk actually has a lot of research behind it for moisturizing and also skin soothing benefits. So if that's you, you may really enjoy this product. There's also other skin soothing ingredients in here like cucumber extract and aloe. So that's really good. Uh, it's probably not gonna do a whole lot for like long-term anti-aging. You know, if you already have fine lines and wrinkles, this isn't going to like reverse anything. Like there's nothing in there like helping your collagen to continue to produce or, you know, producing more ceramides or anything like that. There's no peptides, there's no retinol, there's none of that in there, but it does look like a nice hydration and moisture product for under the eyes. Thursday, I had some trouble, <laughs> I had some trouble. So I ended up picking the Benefit Professional Primer because it is a good solid primer. I do still think it's a little bit overpriced for, for the, the product, I do. But it is a good solid pore filling primer that's been loved for many years and it's good. I mean, it's, it's good, that's the original. Now there are two other primers available. There's a brightening one and a hydrating one. Now the hydrating one does look like it's probably going to do some hydrating, but the brightening one, the only thing that makes this primer brightening is that it has mica in it, which is a shiny mineral. So it's not actually going to make your skin brighter. It's basically probably going to be more like a very slight highlight almost uh, to illuminate your face, but it's not actually doing anything to your skin to make your skin brighter. Like, I mean, I could see why that would be attractive to, attractive to some people, but just as long as you know what you're getting, that you're not like brightening your actual skin, you're topically adding brightness through mica. Friday the 17th was a really easy one for me, the ABH Norvina palette on sale for half off. I really love that palette. I really love ABH's formula for eyeshadow. The big thing to keep in mind on this is there is a ton of kick up in the pan. The pan sizes are very small. They are really nice though. They are very pigmented, so you wanna go in very lightly with your brush and then just blend out and slowly build up because it's a very intense formula, but you can come up with some gorgeous looks with the Norvina palette. Definitely recommend this. And then finally moving on to Saturday the 18th. We're gonna end up with a product I haven't tried, but this I'm really thinking about getting uh, because I'm starting to run out of my vitamin C product that I have, and this one looks super legit. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Potent C Power Serum. Hello, editing Jen here. Uh, so this product is actually not on Saturday. It's actually on Tuesday the 14th. I got my browser windows mixed up, so I have had this where I should have had the Saturday items and it just got mixed up. Looking at the Saturday products, I really don't see anything else that I want to recommend. I mean, some things that look like they might be okay, but nothing for the price point. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave in this Peter Thomas Roth Potency information for you in case you're interested in it.
it for Tuesday the 14th, but just know that this is not a Saturday product. Yeah, oops. <laughs> back to the video. It is still $49 at half price, which is really pricey, but I personally really like to have a good vitamin C product to pair with my sunscreen. Vitamin C is a great antioxidant. So what that does is it helps to add onto your sunscreen to protect your skin from photo damage, which of course we all want. And of course it has my favorite vitamin C ingredient, which is the tech hexadecal ascorbate. I almost got it. I almost got it. Um, and then it also has some ferulic acid in there, which is an antioxidant, but it also helps to further stabilize that already more stable form of vitamin C, which is great. There's squalane in here, which is skin balancing. Love that. And then there's the humectants, butylene glycol, and uh, sodium hyaluronate that are paired with water. And then finally, some ginseng root extract, with, which again is an antioxidant, but it's also an anti-inflammatory. So if you need that in your life, that's in there as well. And it just looks like a really good, legit vitamin C product that I may purchase myself because it looks really nice. And my friend, that is it for the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty Fall 2021. I hope that you found this video super helpful. If you did, make sure you hit the thumbs up button so it tells YouTube to share it with other people. I know that the number may stay exactly the same when you click it, but I promise you it does do something. So if you could click that, if you enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate it. And more importantly, I would love to hear your thoughts about this season sale. What are you picking up? What were you thinking about picking up? What do you see? and you're like, oh heck no, I am not buying that. Do not recommend it. Definitely leave your thoughts on anything I said, anything that you've seen in the sale. I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments down below. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to watch another one, YouTube should be recommending a couple of videos for you right over there to watch. But if it is your time to go, it is absolutely no problem at all. Thank you so much for hanging out as long as you did. And mad love to you. And I'll see you in a video very, very soon. Bye.